Alright y'all, listen, I'm vlogging from my phone in DC, Howard Homecoming. I, I feel kind of hot. Let's see if I feel hot when I get, you know, less worked up. Let's see, when I relax. Um, yeah, so that's how we're walking through. Where are we walking through? Uh, Do you mind being the vlog? <laughs> I didn't even ask her. I didn't even ask her. We're walking through Howard's campus. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright y'all, so we'll be back. I'll take y'all with me. Oh my god. Guys, this is so freaking KU. Look at this. All the tents with that good smelling food. Look at this. So we're in this cute little tent. We're gonna take a picture. What a rum night tent. Okay, go ahead, Kay. I love it. Yay, this is so cute. Stay tuned, guys. Look what I got. Ooh. What you know about that? And this is the author. Awesome. Howard's Homecoming 2023. I got a new book for the love of money, black women. Go to my website, hotliveentertainment.com. Love Howard, HU all day, baby, to Philadelphia. Love it. Find y'all for the bathroom. We in Club McDonald's. <laughs> no. I'm watching this bitch. 
bitch, I'm up in the scene now. Like I'm ready to bend. All the fake bobbies just wanna pretend. Like I'm gonna let me go find me a pen. Look where it led. Now I'm up to the bed. that she went through, we documented that. We jumped on afterwards. They were already in motion. So I just wanna really commend Jennifer for what she did, for standing up. I don't wanna give too much of the story away, but for standing up for herself and for being brave enough to tell her story. So I, everybody, let's please give Jen, because it is not easy to get a show like this on the air. Thank you so much, Kim. I have to shout out, uh, I had no idea about doing a documentary, and I had just done a movie with Dennis, and so I called him, I said, listen, I need you to get a camera, a crew, we have to film this, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I need people to hear this story. Mona, I met because after I found out Aaron's real name, I found an article that Mona had wrote on Lipstick Alley, and she had dated him, and she had a wealth of information and Mona was just so essential in this project as well because when I went public with the story and everybody started reaching out, Mona was the person that talked to all the victims. Mm -hmm. You don't see everybody on the documentary because it takes a lot to come forward with a camera in your face and tell your story. But Mona literally sat on the phone for hours with people, documented everything, took notes, was their therapist, and so I just always, always have to give her her flowers. As family, so we welcome you guys to go and have all the things that couples do. I was in love with him, and he told me that he loved me. I felt that. I never would have thought he would be a scammer. He tells me my car is gone. I said, what do you mean gone? Love scamming itself is not a crime. Asked me what would it take for me not to do the interview, and I said some money. Period. <laughs> because Period. if you are using me for money, I'm gonna need some money. Okay. He was talking about well, think about my kids. What he didn't know is that I knew his kids that he wasn't taking care of, and I knew he wasn't thinking about his kids. So no. Um, it's interesting that he wants to be able to discredit everything as though that's not what happened. He legitimately was able to convince me that we were in this together, that we were building together, that this is a way for us to earn money. Just as Jennifer had mentioned in her story, he pretended as though he had so much money. There were even instances where he was taking the money that I earned and would belittle it as though it's, this little money doesn't mean anything to me. And I would say, you know, you're pimping, you're pimping, whatever. And he would say, well, I'm pimping, I want you to do. I would use someone who would probably make more money. So again, he is a master manipulator. Go. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Say hi. hi. Say hi, kiddos. We were supposed to change. I know, we're about to do it. He is so funny. I can't with you. Hi, princesses. You're getting so big. Get a good one for me for me. And get the Friendsgiving. Me and Priscilla worked really hard for this, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, first, we had it way up high. <laughs> well, this is for my vlog. Beautiful. And then I just. Oh, you have a YouTube? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's it's nice. Nice. Wow, well, animal sounds. <laughs> <laughs> So no, it, so here's the thing, right? Uh, coming together, not only just to share food so and joke, cute. laugh, play games, but sometimes we give gifts. And our gifts have a meaning to everything. So like everything in your bag is has a personal intention towards it. So like your lip oil, your lip gloss is to moisturize your lips, but not only moisturize your lips, but it gives you the freedom to speak. Mm -hmm. Oh, I so <laughs> the eye mask that you put on there is for higher stress to help you weep. Yeah, because everybody cries, right? Oh. So then your throat is for when you're cold, when you feel lonely, when you're stressed, when you need a hug to wrap yourself in. So it's just little things that I feel like we all need right now. Oh my God. I've never tried it. It's so good. I hope you guys enjoy. Look, guys. This video is chaos. I'm loving this. Like a little hug back for me. We did so these tight. And hopefully these have written all. I'm very sleepy. Well, I can't wait to try this. Yeah. So after you wash your face, you know, learn their makeup. What is retinol? Put that on. I know I gotta keep it up.